Alright guys, welcome back to Spin Tires. I've had the strange urge to play a lot since last time I recorded. I haven't actually made any progress, as you can see. All our vehicles are still very, very stuck. <laughs> but, uh, we're going to get them unstuck today. So I decided I'm not just going to leave them sitting here in the mud. I am actually going to try to get them unstuck. So today, we are going to go ahead and get some stuff done. Now, it's been a week or so since I played... So let's see how well I remember the controls. I just messed around a little bit. I had to click eight buttons before I remembered how to get to the mini-map and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So we're going to start the engine on this thing. And I wonder if we can winch ourselves out. I did look... Uh, change truck. I did briefly look into how the whole winch system w works. And uh, you guys were a little bit helpful there too. Um, so let's see if we can figure that out. And the backup wheel on my truck... And possibly even on this one too can help me repair my vehicles. You guys kind of made brought that to my attention too that they might actually be able to self repair a tiny bit. Um, so let's rotate this camera around, see if we can get at least one of the trucks unstuck. And let's whoops, oh let's change the truck again. And they are working on an update that will. Uh, oh, that's not, okay, they are working on an update that uh, will potentially make things a little bit easier for for us to. Uh, as far as the camera goes and stuff like that. Oh, I can reach that. Okay, cool. There we go. Winching out just like that. Hold down the F key and the winch works. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like the winch doesn't want to pull us out any farther though. Which is perfectly fine, honestly. Uh, so let's see. Looks like our engine is started. Let's turn on all-wheel drive and diff lock. And just see if we can't power out of here. Dangerous water level. Okay, I need to be careful. Let's uh, s switch over to the vehicles again. And see if we can't maybe get this one out of there. I say as I kind of wiggle it into the mud deeper. Okay. Let's uh, get the winch going. That tree might work. I think we're hitting that other tree there. Okay, camera. We might be a little bit, yeah. So that certainly won't help anything. Oh, and advanced. Okay, once we get one truck out completely, we can use it to get the other truck out. Uh, is there another tree I can winch onto? I think if I get a little bit farther back, then I can... Uh, I wish I could see how well my wheels were turned too, but I can probably get onto that next tree behind the one I was already winched onto. I just can't see where my wheels are through all this mud. I need to get out of here too. We determined that the way behind me wasn't really the way to go. We're making some progress though. Let's see how straight my wheels are. <laughs> I'm still making adjustments though, so. The mud just pulls you whatever direction it feels like. All right, this truck is, it's out, unstuck, but it's not out of trouble yet. All right, can we plow down this tree? Yeah. That one though, that slightly smaller one is gonna be more of a challenge it seems. Taking a little bit of damage there. Oh, we're getting hung up on this one. That's not good. Come on now, you can t go over top of the other tree, but you can't go over this one. Okay. No problem, no problem. We know how this winch works now. We can just, um, you know, unwitch ourselves. Okay, pull the back end out maybe. Get it away from that tree. A little bit more. There we go, that might do. Need to get rid of that winch now, though. Got to advance so we can power it through. Now hit the bigger tree. Including that one. Uh, okay. Barely made it past that one. Okay, let's get this truck over here a little bit more. Turn this camera around. I think we need to back up a tiny bit, possibly. Whoop. Let's back up to a straight line, though. Alright. 
That might be close enough. Let's let's give it a try. Let's change trucks. Now we need to get this thing out of the mud, obviously. <laughs> Duh. Uh, I could drop a load. I thought I was going to just do that, but this is actually working relatively well so far. Um, I don't see any winch points. Why don't I see a winch point? Why do I see absolutely no winch points on the truck? That's interesting. Winch points. Hello? Do we need to start the engine first? Oh, okay, I need to start the engine first. First, first, first. I don't understand why completely, but that's that's fine. Okay, so now we... Oh, we need to... You're going the wrong way, guy. Pull. Uh, again, you're going the wrong way. Go forward. <laughs> okay, now the winch is just pulling that other truck backwards. Okay, I see. Uh, let's try changing trucks to this one. Get that winch on there. You turn the camera before you can use the winch. And let's turn the parking brake on. How did I do that again? Um, controls? Okay. Parking brake is... Brake is S. Okay. That's not the right control we want. That We want the handbrake space bar. Okay. Makes sense. There we go. Parking brake is on. <laughs> Doesn't really do that much good though, does it? Okay, so I guess that's uh, out of the question. What's up with the engine sounds now? Why are they all quiet? That's interesting. Okay, why are the game sounds suddenly so incredibly quiet? That is weird. I think I need to fix that. Hold on. Alright, that was kind of weird, but whatever. The game sounds in the settings had somehow turned themselves all the way down, so I don't know if I hit a key that did that or what, but regardless, it's fixed now. Uh, we don't want to change trucks. What am I doing here? So, still need to pull this thing out of the mud. Let's try to get this thing out of there. Okay, that's clearly not working. If I change trucks, that dis the winch disappeared, right? Uh, maybe not. Let's start the engine on this thing. All right. Maybe we can just winch to a, a tree. Um, uh, winch. Let's see what happens. Heave! Heave! Heave more! More heaving! Maybe if I try a different one at a slightly different angle, it'll help. Uh, no. Okay. Different, completely different angle. Woo! All together. Don't tip it over. That's going to tip it over. Clearly not a good idea. All right, we're we're doing this. We are going to detach trailer. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's certainly what I was afraid of. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. Well. Um, we're we're SOL. Okay, let's just get this thing out of here. Other way. Gotta go forward, guy.
Okay, we, we will get out of here. We will eventually, one day, before I get too old, get out of here. Okay, so pulling the truck, apparently not a good idea. Let's try to get the trailer out of the way first. That makes more sense. I think I actually reattached the trailer, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Detached trailer. Yeah, that... That might help a little. Advanced. Winch this thing out of there. Get the trailer out of here. And go. That kind of sucks, but uh, at least we kind of learned our lesson. I just got this trailer completely out of the way. We'll just move it on over to here or something. I want to put it somewhere where I can come back and reattach it. But not where I'll, I'll get stuck. So release the winch. And let's go uh, see if we can just drive that other truck out of there. Start engine first. That would be a good start. All right. So what's behind us? Is there logs in the water behind us? Yeah. Let's try not to get stuck on those. We saw before how that can work. <laughs> as we, we say as we drive over it. All right, looks like we are free. We need to go back and pick up those logs again, which really sucks. But uh, yeah, we, we are at least no longer stuck doing this whole thing. No longer stuck in the hole. So let's hook up to this trailer. Is that close enough? No. Let's get a little bit closer, then I should be able to just go into the advanced menu and connect them together. That might be close enough. Let's try it. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. Get out of the advanced menu, and then head on back over to the logging thing. And actually, we can go ahead and uh, set ourselves a nice route. That's way over there. Dang it. Whoops. So we can start out by going there, and we'll go to there, and there, up over there through the water, uh, across here, around this whole thinger bend and over to lumber and we are there oh I hit okay at the end dang it no one said I was a good I was good at plotting maps or plotting uh, roads on maps okay don't hit okay at the end this time don't hit okay just exit the map F1 not escape and I'm in the wrong vehicle okay that's fine Let's try to back this thing up without... I don't care if I jack into the trailer too much, because it's whatever, but... To the point that it causes problems. And we should be able to see that... That path on our... There it is, over there, that way. I think our trailer is hitting the other truck. In the meantime, we're just going to drive around in this lake. <laughs> okay, let's keep going with this. This trailer is causing so many problems. Next time we're actually going to plot a, a route there. Ooh, all these branches again. 16 damage, no fair. Alright, just a little bit of mud. Shouldn't be a problem. And also, uh, it was brought to my attention that the diff lock and all-wheel drive, they use more fuel, so I should probably disable at least one of those when I don't need them. So I will do such things as these when we're not working through a mud pit like this. Actually, I'll turn off the diff lock altogether right here. Don't think I'll need it. It might slow down our progress a tiny bit, though. Let's turn it back on right here. Turn it off for this part. All 
All right. And it's back on, because <laughs> we're going through water and mud and everything. And he'll climb it. Let's try to avoid the mud a little bit. Maybe we can get a little bit more traction that way. All right. Oh, and here comes a, a water. This could be the end of us. Possibly, probably. And we are going through a lot of fuel, though. But yep, our fuel indicator just turned red. Well, that that's going to be a problem. We do have a fuel truck up at logs, though, or we're taking damage. So hopefully it has a little bit of fuel in it that we can use. Hopefully that's still a fuel truck. We didn't convert that to something else before, did we? Come on, baby. Climb. Climb. There we go. And the damage thing, we'll just have to be a little bit careful. All right. Trying to avoid the mud pit a little bit. Also, don't tip yourself or hit the rocks. This part looks like it's going to be pretty sticky. Hopefully we can make it there. Hopefully we have enough fuel. Because if not, then we're going to have to send a whole other rescue mission. A completely different kind of rescue mission. Ooh-wee. Let's go through the water, I suppose. It's honestly probably the easiest route. Yeah, I think that was a good decision. Try to put our wheels where it looks like it's packed down the most for maximum efficiency. <laughs> Go over top of the rocks. Ooh, that thump sounded painful. I didn't see any damage get done, though. Okay, a little bit of speed there. That might be a bad thing. Might just end up hurting ourselves with that speed. Around this mound of rocks. Oh, hello, rocks. You're flying right up there, aren't you? The rocks seem to be a little bit buggy. You may notice as we drive towards some of them, every once in a while you'll see one kind of pop out of the ground. Other times you'll see them fly up like that. But remember, the game, they're still working on it. I don't know why they released it as a full release and not like an open beta or something, but whatever. This might be a bad idea going this way. Not for the water. Guess we're about to find out. Just sucking back the fuel. Still have a, quite a bit of ways to go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Come on, we don't have fuel for this. Come on, baby. Okay, now we're just digging ourselves in. Get us out of here. I think we're good. Lots of lots of spinning tires, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I think we're free. Come on, front wheels. I wish you would power through this too. You're not even not even turning. Oh man. Okay. Which route should I take up here? Should I go through the water or over the rocks? Or is there a route I can take around here to the right, possibly? I think we're going to try to go between the rocks and the water. That looks like a good idea. Alright, that's working not too badly. Oh, we're getting sucked into the mud hole now, though. And there's the logs. I don't see the fuel truck up. You know what? I bet you... Uh, no, I moved it, didn't I? Let's turn the diff lock on. I had it off all this whole time. That's probably why we're having troubles. <laughs> didn't even realize that. All 
right, now the deepest mud right in the logging trail. That's intelligent. Yeah, I can see part of the fuel truck now. Cool, it's still here. Hopefully it has fuel in it. I didn't even think of that. I think it's half full, isn't it? I guess we'll find out. So that's why that front wheel wasn't spinning, too, because the diff lock wasn't on. Jeez, I am the brightest person. All right, let's stop here, change trucks, and we'll see if we can't. Cool, we have a few hundred liters. And that truck's not quite close enough. Let's just drive this thing right over to that other truck, though. Oh, there's a log behind us, right. Or a stump. Okay, that, that, whoop. Back it up a tiny bit. Okay, that should be good. Uh, fuel. No, we're not close enough. Dang it. Don't crash into the vehicles. There we go. Haha. -ha. We still have a little bit of fuel to go. That's good. Let's right, just back this thing up out of the way. Parking brake on, and switch over to that other to logging truck again. Now let's let's decide what what's the best way to get around here to line this thing up so we can just drive straight out with the log, so we don't want to go through all the rocks again with the the loaded truck. I wonder if this is a really bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Okay, <laughs> that's good to know. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're T-boning. Or not, yeah, no, jackknifing. Jackknifing, that's the word I'm looking for. Come on. We're, t we're, we're jackknifing again, but that's fine. Okay. So let's try to turn ourselves around here before we load up. That's probably going to be a little bit easier. Not necessarily problem-free, but easier. Okay. Almost. Come on. Turn sharper, by the way. Diff lock and all the drive probably doesn't help turn sharper. We still have to watch our damage a little bit, though. We might be able to repair ourselves a little bit, actually. I didn't even think of that. Line ourselves up for the best exit. This car has to be relatively level and straight to load up. Ah, there we go. Position your truck properly. Okay. That's what I thought. I know we're pushing it sideways. But that's fine. That might be good. There we go. Woo! We are loaded up again. Let's see how many problems we can run into this time. You know what? Before we go, though, oh, let's mark our path. So it would be nice to go through the plains over here, but that's kind of difficult to get to. Um, I'd like to try to remove some of this cloaking. So maybe we should take that other vehicle. Oh, no. Which we need to type. This thing. There we go. Which is almost flooded. Uh, so maybe we'll take this thing over and try to undo some of this cloaking. So let's go ahead and start this thing up, and we'll try to plot a bit of a route here. Um, so we need to get the cloaking here mostly gone. So we need to find a, a way to get in that direction. Uh, looks like the best way might be to kind of to kind of come down here along this path, and then we can make a left once we get there. And I hit OK again. Dang it! Okay. Didn't hit OK this time. Let's get ourselves out of this water before we drown ourselves. We need to go the opposite direction we're facing, of course. This rock is in our path, but that's fine. So let's just go scout the area out a little bit. Then after that, we'll... Depending on what we find and what routes we see, we'll... Uh, 
we'll go from there. We might just take the logs directly there, or we might even uh, uncover another garage or vehicle or something that we can use. This thing's pretty low on fuel, too. It's not going to make it too far. Maybe I should take it back? No. Uh, well, we're just going to go drive it in to the, to the bush, and if it gets stuck, it gets stranded, then whatever. Hopefully we won't need it again for another rescue mission. If so, we'll have to rescue the rescue mission before we can use the rescue mission. Alright, I think after we make this turn, we might already be past the, the cloaking, or into the cloaking. This is probably going to damage us a little bit going through here. Right, so far so good though. Try to avoid these boulders on my left. And little rocks on the right. This thing just doesn't quite have the ground clearance of that other vehicle I'm using to pull the logs. It's a little bit smaller, not much, but a little bit. Holy crap, this thing's using a lot of fuel. Right, turn the headlights on, but I mean, it makes everything else darker. Uh, so we need to go towards our left. Let's just put a, a spot, a marker over in that direction so we know at least the general direction to follow. Well, I guess we're going through the bush. This can only end in pain. Oh, and there's some rocks. Hold on, that's a really bad idea. I think. Get stuck, had to flip the dip, diff lock back on there. I think I see a good route over the rocks right here. Hopefully it is a good route. Okay. That'll work. We, did we not take any damage from all that? Or am I just blind? I didn't see it. That was a pretty bumpy road. A route. I think we're kind of in the plains a little bit now. If we can get the logs out to here, then we're home free. Hopefully I can connect back to the center point. Oh, what's that? Signs of life. <laughs> oh, there's the cloaking thing. Nice. Cloaking removed. Aha. That's awesome. That's that's going to make life so much more simple, so much simpler. Uh, it would be nice to get rid of the cloaking down there too, but uh, we'll worry about it a little bit later. For now, I think we're going to go ahead and get our other vehicle, logging truck, over to kind of this location. So let's figure out what one that is. Um, it's the 4320. That one, okay. Start this engine. Head over to the map. Now let's plot our route here. Uh, I hate to say it, but I think the best route... Do we want to go through this weeby, muddy road again and work our way down? Or do we want to try going like down a little more? Both routes seem pretty crappy. Uh, but we're going to... let's. Well, we already did the upper road a few times. Let's try the lower road. We did that once or twice this episode. But uh, next time, next episode, we're going to follow this road along. And maybe, hopefully, it's a little bit of longer of a route, but that's fine. We can get to our destination. Oh, we can only set that many points. Okay, that's good to know. So we're following this route. And then once we get over to here, then we are just heading across in that general direction. Okay. So next time, guys, I'll hopefully get a load delivered and not get stuck again. Wow, this is taking so long to deliver one load, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, see you for the next one.